So you just got yourself an NZXT all-in-one water cooler, but ever since you started using the CAM software, your PC's been crashing and applications have been freezing. <coughs> uh, wallpaper engine? I mean, do I really need to pick between having custom RGB lights and an aesthetic live wallpaper? Anyway, here in 90 seconds, I'm going to help you guys fix your CAM conflict issues. Now the solution here is quite simple. Have NZXT start up alongside Windows, have it set your fan and lighting profiles, and then kill it. That's it. Right after it's done its job, you just shut it down. Sure, you could do this manually every time, but that's just gonna get super annoying, right? So, yeah, we're going to automate it using a custom, very simple bat file. So, start the clock, open up Notepad, then copy and paste the code from the video description down below, or simply download my pre-created bat file itself. Now, I've been using this for over a year now, and it's been working perfectly. Hopefully, it does the same for your setup. Now here, the real crux of the matter is that task kill line here. It just simply tells Windows to shut down cam if it's running, and that's it. Now when it comes to saving the file itself, make sure to select all file types, and then save it as a .bav file, somewhere where you won't forget about it. Like your document area for example. Now anytime you double click and run this file, it should just straight up kill cam. So make sure to give it a go to make sure it actually works before you continue. Now let's automate this, so every time Windows starts up, it automatically kills cam after it's applied all of its settings. For this, we're using Windows Task Scheduler. So just search Task Scheduler, click on Create Task on the right hand side, then under General, you want to add in a name, under Trigger, set it to Run when user is logged on. Actions, hit New, then browse and select your .bat file. Now there are a couple optional tweaks here with conditionings, so it only runs on AC power or battery, but yeah, feel free to copy my settings. And that's it. NZXT will start up when Windows does, and then the bat file will automatically kick in, shine it down. Yeah, not a perfect solution, but until NZXT pulls out their finger, hopefully this little workaround is going to help at least a few of you guys out.